and how he's just like resonating with like his heart breathing in and out oh at such a moment oh with that little head tilt too yo what's up everybody it's your boy don here your dance mentor and we are going to be checking out ATZ's answer official music video and then we're gonna dive into their dance of course their dance practice video just to see all the details within their routine choreography formations blocking and all that stuff and we'll see if i like this song towards the end of this video so before we do so i know a small percentage of you guys who watch my channel are actually subscribed so if you enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on new releases it's free and you can always change your mind later hope you all enjoyed the video all right is this setting sounds like we got more of a softer intro Ooh. okay I take that back <laughs> Light like reggae dance hall track. No, just that build up. I'm feeling this. There it is, the drum pattern. Didn't we see those outfits before? Nope. 
God dang, why do they gotta tease us all the time? Interesting. I know I watched fireworks before this and we had like a similar teaser with um, a red costumed figure almost with like the same kind of uh, you know feeling and this song was I'm not gonna lie I had slight chills like um, watching and listening to this this is much more on their serious and and more vocal sided songs and you know, I honestly, I, I like uh, ATs a lot more uh, in terms of just listening to their sounds when it's when it's this kind of, you know, melody or, or tone. Like, I love hearing their more emotional side. It just feels so raw and, like, I can feel even the desperation within their choreography as well. So, you know, let's go ahead and take a look at their answer dance practice. But... Yeah, I, I remember seeing those black costumes. I think it was in Hala Hala. I'm not sure. But I don't know if I'm tripping out. Mm. We're vibing now. Dang, dude. Yo, yo, yo. They're, they're, I love it when they vibe with each other. Like, they're not really doing some crazy choreography. But the fact that, like, they got these, you know, bunched up group just feeling the hype around each other, especially when you got the rappers to just showcase themselves right in the front. Mm. Oh, I did not see that. I like the way he closes his eyes. I'm sure there's some metaphor behind that, but I'm not obviously, I don't know really, I don't know Korean. Um, I couldn't really define that well, that moment well with the within the music video but again like uh it feels like there is this restriction of a restriction of a feeling mm, i love that but yeah like there's this some sort of desperation and restrictive feeling behind this song i don't, I don't know what it is it's like it's like they're getting ready for a triumphant victory for some reason. And it felt like that with Treasure. Um, in some ways, it felt like that with Utopia as well, which was the last video I watched of them. But dang, I, I just I feel these boys a lot more when it comes to these uh, to to these types of songs. And I love how they just switched it up the dance, the vibe to like this dance hall ish. And uh, interesting how they added a Kangsta walk into this. That move right there, uh, I think that's made by one of the guys from Future Kings, but they called it Kangsta walk. Just another, you know, social dance term. <laughs> nice touch to it. Dang, I don't know. I love how still that this right foot drag was. It was so, mm. I don't know. Like some part of the choreography gives me chills. And like, I'm not trying to say the choreography is all out impressive, but it's just, I think the, the overall vibe I get with this song, like, mm, I'm feeling something. <laughs> Oh. 
you got, Yo Sung? Slight dance break. Okay. Got more of a stronger beat percussion pattern here. Hold on, I want to go back. Just when. Dang. A lot more musicality within this section. Sharper and harder movements. I love, I do love the fact that they're switching up the the movements. Like it's it's interesting because usually when I hear a song, or usually when I see choreo choreography to a song, usually there's a like a a theme or a overall intention or vibe with the song, and it usually starts with a certain type of groove. But in this type of song, this in this case, this song has very different elements like we saw you know more hip-hop um, grooves or, or just movement and gestures and then we got a little dance hall with like the with the slight plie of the knees and the the shimmy with the legs as, as well and then we got like intricate choreography during the chorus and we got some like footwork it almost seems like it was um, there's this thing called jump style like I don't know if that's really what it is but it just you know there's a lot of hopping back and forth and then you got like this whole intricate section um you know just they're showcasing different things and i just think that's interesting because usually like there's a constant groove with a song in terms of the choreography but not with this one playing with visuals there i love that Again, with the dance hall and the Afro dancing, it's the influence. You see many elements to this piece. And here is just interesting footwork. I will say, I, I love Jono's voice a lot. He's killing it. He's killing it in this song. Look at that. Jesus Christ. There's a strong AT's like movement there that we have right here. I like, again, like these boys are just known for having very explosive energy. Yeah, like just the way they vibe with each other and how they project like right here. That was a nice turn though. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> that was like a uh, like a a jump pure way. that moment there I love this moment with just you know just holding that and how he's just like resonating with like his heart breathing in and out oh that's such a moment oh with that little head tilt too it's uh I don't know I don't know what that's supposed to be but I'm, I'm liking that head tilt <laughs> that's cool This song, it's again like, ah, I don't know. This is this leaves me mystified, somewhat mystified, and I, I'm not sure if it's it's because I resonate. I, for sure, I resonate with the, you know, just listening to it and just seeing them perform to it. Like I, I resonate, uh, I, and I can feel them on a, an emotional level, but I don't know what that's supposed to be. 
And of course, you know, maybe it, the, the lyrics would help further define that for me. But I think, you know, just, you know, listening to it somewhat blindly, like I think, you know, maybe it's not just me. Like I can feel that this song is much more relatable. I don't know. Like on, on just an, an emotional level. And, you know, you don't need, you don't need translation for that. <laughs> so this was a... Yeah, this is quite a, a song hit different, but more importantly, I want to know what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments below what you thought was unique or something I didn't catch. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. So peace out and stay evil.